dreading anything is not going to make it any better. Amen? I had to have a hip replaced a couple of years ago. It's so nice today. If you wear out parts, you can go get new ones. <laughs> it's just the coolest thing. I mean, I got this new hip, and now I can just walk all I want to. It's just great. Well, now my other hip's hurting. So, and I'm like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> I got plans, Lord. I don't have time for this. I don't know what it is yet, but, you know, there's always the temptation to, uh, come on, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but can I tell you, that doesn't change anything. All it changes is you. All it changes is me. So bottom line is, is I got to have an attitude. Well, I can do whatever I need to do. And I'm not going to stop enjoying my life in the midst of it. I had a plan, but if that plan don't work out, then I guess we'll get a new plan. And God will work everything out for my good. Come on, stop being miserable about stuff you cannot do anything about. I want to make sure you heard that. Stop being miserable about stuff you cannot do anything about. Amen? Amen. Stay happy and let God take care of it. Make your mind up, I'm not going to dread anything. That should be your new favorite statement. I'm not going to dread anything. I'm not going to dread doing dishes. I'm not going to dread doing laundry. I'm not going to dread cutting the grass. I'm not going to dread changing the oil in the car. I'm not going to dread driving in traffic to work. Dread is simply expecting to have an unpleasant experience. <laughs> That's all it is. And it's the total opposite of hope. You know, one of the ways that you can and I can learn to not dread things is to do everything that we do far and unto the Lord. 